Two years. It's been about two years since FNF Soft Mod released to the public, meaning it's also been about two years since I released my video critiquing the mod for basically being a poorly written fanfic, and not doing much outside of that due to lackluster visuals and kind of just bad music. That video got more attention than it probably should have, and way more than I was willing to handle. Looking back at it, it definitely didn't age the best. Some of the points I used in the video were nitpicky, and the video overall was just like kind of rushed and poor quality. And due to those reasons, even though I really didn't like the soft mod, I always wanted to go back to it at a later date to do a sort of re-re-review of it or some sort. I don't know. Just to see was it really as bad as I said it was, and because I wanted to see if I could get those type of views again. And another reason was because I constantly, even now, got plenty of comments talking about how the mod wasn't as bad as I made it out to be. And then on the other hand, I got comments talking about how the mod was utter garbage. But um, due to laziness and also still feeling as if the mod had some significant issues, I just decided to sit around and wait for a new major update before I took another look at it again. And after a very long two years, three different content shifts, and FNF as a whole just not really being that big of an interest to me as it was previously, I got a notification from a comment wondering if I was going to make a return to talk about the mod since it was getting a huge new update fixing everything from the ground up. And honestly, my interest was immediately piqued. With the new updates coming to base FNF, my kind of FNF fanboy era was slowly starting to creep back in sadly, so FNF mods seemed kind of interesting to me again, as long as it wasn't related to Sonic.exe. And not to mention, this mod had a pretty significant role in my channel, albeit not really a good role seeing as I got a lot of flack and hate from that video, but it was still for a long time my most popular video on my channel, although I really think my more positive FNF videos would pique your interest more. So on June the 23rd, I went in and downloaded the mod and was kind of just waiting to be disappointed again. Like obviously I was going to go into it with an open mind this time and not be as cynical, but I was genuinely just expecting the same over the top has been hotel tier writing we had received from the first mod, but now with updated visuals and a bit more songs. I can gladly say. Let's start off with the music, because to me, that's basically the soul of any FNF mod. When I originally covered the FNF Soft mod, one of my biggest complaints was how it handled its music, because it felt like they treated their plot and their characters more importantly than their own soundtrack. Because due to their own time constraints, they decided to mix in some songs from base FNF, which completely ruined the vibe of the mod, because, of course, they didn't really fit the theme of what was going on in the moment. And the songs that they did have that were in the mod were kind of just like mediocre at best. But FNF music to me overall kind of slowly built up a stigma of all just blending in together. I don't really know how to categorize it, but if you ever heard a Sanster song or Sonic.exe, just like think of something like that. Every song kind of was just like built to one up each other. And that, that honestly led to like my whole unenjoyment of the fandom. And so when I went into the FNF soft mod, I was kind of expecting not to be impressed because I thought I was either going to get something over the top that I wouldn't enjoy that much or something that's just like not that interesting, but I can honestly say I was genuinely shocked. The soundtrack for this mod is beautiful. Every song fits the vibe and mood perfectly. Yeah, there are still songs that came off over the top or a bit too hardcore for my taste, but at least they were still pretty enjoyable too. But specifically, the first two weeks of this mod are just mwah, perfection. I haven't really listened to a lot of Dad Davies stuff, but like if this is the music that he's producing, this guy is like one of the, one of the goats of, of Friday Night Funkin'. He's he's like he's up there, man. The soft mod soundtrack manages to capture the feeling in the current moment to a T. It can go from having a smooth, almost jazzy like tune just poked directly at your soul to an upbeat jam that'll have you bouncing in your chair as you play. Every song was really just a gamble on how it's gonna feel in that moment. Each musician they got to compose for this just gave it their all and it's really apparent in, in like um uh 10 out of 10 G good job the story of the soft mod is kind of the same as it was last time it's a love story of bf and pico or well benjamin and pico going on the run to get away from the limelight and more specifically get away from father ferris and mother maris abuse to be completely honest when i previously said that the mod had has been hotel levels of writing that was more of just a quick joke to get off a better comparison would be hell of a boss but, as someone who's seen both Hath and Hotel and this mod, I could honestly say the writing is on par, and that's not really an insult. I believe both of these things have a few flaws in the way they write their characters and story, while also knowing that doesn't mean as a whole they were poorly written. I just think they were both made for a specific audience, so if you're not really a part of that audience, you'll have some trouble immersing yourself. Honestly, from my stand, I think the mod does a pretty good job when it comes to the story flow. There are some minor issues when it came to dialogue, but besides from that, I can just brush it over, you know? 
But one thing that makes this mod really more digestible is the fully fledged voice acting. It's a lot easier for me to immerse myself in the story that's being told when I can hear the characters and hear their emotions, even if Pico sounds like one of those Bakugo TikTok edits. Thank you. Of course. You've made my day amazing. I love you. I love you too, Ben. Last but not least, I want to touch on the art of this mod, because in the previous video I critiqued it and said it just looked like Trace Slop. Honestly, looking back at the art of the soft mod, it might not have been the best, but I feel as if I was kind of still just rude with the way I handled it, and so when I came into the mod now, I wanted to be a lot more open to things and less critical. But the mod's art and visuals greatly improved, the sprites were smoother and the cutscenes were gorgeous. Yeah, there are some things that might have looked a bit iffy or just wasn't the most high quality render, but I think it kind of added to the mod's charm. It helped me realize that every little thing in this mod was made out of love for the project. Each person came together to contribute what they could to make this mod stand out, and it was because they had a personal connection to what they were working on. And while I don't I don't know if they were paid for this or not, but seeing as most FNF mods aren't really allowed to make money outside of YouTube streams and stuff, this couldn't have been the best paying project to work on, and yet they still gave it their all. And not to mention, the older I got, the more interested I myself became in stuff like art and music making, but when I picked it up for myself, I quickly realized just jumping into this stuff isn't really that easy. But it can easily consume a lot of your time and you won't see a lick of improvement. So I say all this to say I tip my hat off to all of the artists, musicians, and voice actors that came to make this thing work. And I want to say you guys made something special. And honestly, looking back at my younger self, well yeah, I might not have liked the older version of the mod and thought the story wasn't good. As I matured, I came to see how someone could fall in love with something emotional like that because it's easy to insert yourself into the story and whether it comes from something as simple as attachment due to a fond liking of a character or something much deeper routed like a relation to trauma and bonding, it's something that only you would understand. Not to mention it'd be kind of hypocritical for me to sit here and go soft mod, cringe, and gay when I think about anyone can relate to someone who enjoys it, because there are plenty of movies, games, and other things people have a deep connection to that others might call bad or cringe. But um, this is getting too emotional and I'm running out of things to blab about, so uh, good job soft mod team and, and, and keep it up. Bye -bye.